I've been here for almost four years at the airport and I've been working with this attack for machine for about almost for almost a month. I've seen improvements here at the, the, tera, uh, the floors here. They're actually shinier now that we run the machine at least four or five hours a night every day on the uh, graveyard shift. So it acts like my co-worker, you know, I set it up, it works and uh, doing something else. You have to teach the machine the route you want the machine to, you know, always move on. That's the first step of that machine. The machine can run by itself, and while the machine is running by itself, you could multitask at the same time. And if the machine is blocked, it sends you a message on your phone, and you can just go ahead and fix it and get back to your own route. It will send me a text, take the photo of the area it is situated, then I know that location and I go there and help the machine. The machine scrubs the floor every night. You could give us, I think it's about six to eight routes, and you could run all those routes in one night. It improves efficiency at SeaTac. So I believe that it was good for me. I think it was good for the company. This machine, it really been doing well, really. But if it is fully charged, it won't fall eight hours. Most people like to use uh, brand new machines. They, they get happy about it, so they're always excited to use new machines. It's convenient, it's more efficient for every janitor that's working the tech floor. Who would like to see the machine? They take the picture of the machine, they walk by it, they stand before it, the machine stop. When they leave, the machine start to move. So it's kind of fun for the travelers and also for the employees. The favorite part about this uh, Tecmo machine is just the whole machine itself. I think it's, it's amazing how you could just run by itself and then you could multitask at the same time, get your job done.